It's time to be inspired, get connected, and walk MS to support loved ones, friends, and coworkers battling multiple sclerosis. Here to talk about the 2014 Walk MS presented by Travelers is Lisa Darrell, the president and CEO of the Connecticut chapter, along with Dr. Jeffrey Gross, the president and managing partner of Associated Neurologists of Southern Connecticut. Thank you both for being back here on Connecticut Style. Thank you for having us. Uh, doctor, let's start uh, with the basics. Tell our viewers what MS is. Well, MS is an autoimmune disease that affects the central nervous system. People are most frequently diagnosed when they're in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, the most productive part of their life. It affects each individual very differently, but it has the potential to be disabling, which is why we need effective treatment for it. Mm -hmm. And how many people in the, in the state and the country are affected by this? Well, we have about 6,000 people in the state of Connecticut, 400,000 people in the United States, there's about two and a half million people who have been identified worldwide. Wow. And there's no cure, but there are some treatment options. We don't have the cure yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We have 10 treatments now. Increasingly, we're able to get people on medications that control their disease for a long period of time. The big challenge is that all our treatments are for people with relapsing forms of MS. A lot of people have progressive forms of MS. The international MS community has made it a priority to try to identify treatments for that group of people. Mm -hmm. And the Associated Neurologists, our MS Comprehensive Care Center, is participating in that effort. We're enrolling people in clinical trials for progressive forms of MS. Very good. Um, Lisa, let's bring you into the conversation. Yes, thank um, you. Talk to me about how the National MS Society helps patients. I know there's a lot of services and resources. We exactly, provide. exactly. We help people with MS in a number of ways. One of those, of course, is providing hope because of all the research that we do. And we're doing research all across the country, but about $3 million worth of it here in Connecticut to find the cause, to find new treatments, and eventually to accomplish our vision, which is a world with, that's free of MS. And uh, one, of the reason, one of the reasons you're here and one of the ways you do all the funding are these huge walks that you have every exactly. year. Exactly. This is the biggest walk in <clears throat> Connecticut. Talk to us about what's going to happen. I definitely will. But I also wanted to mention, in addition to the research, we do programs that help people with MS. So we sure. do all kinds of programs because it is such a complicated disease. So we do newly diagnosed workshops and caregiver programs and programs for pediatric MS and on and on. Mm -hmm. But in order to do those programs and to fund the research, you're right, Teresa, we have to do important fundraisers and walk MS presented by Travelers is our very most important event of the year and that's coming up. Uh, it's the Saturday, April 5th, Sunday, April 6th. Exactly. How many are happening around Connecticut? We have two on Saturday and we have 10 on Sunday. We're hoping that 10,000 people will join us at those 12 sites and we'll sign up today, tomorrow, yesterday to join us to, to get involved and, and help people with multiple sclerosis. Sure, and we were watching some video from previous years. Yes. Looks like an event you really yeah. can bring your whole family out to. It's definitely a family event. It's great fun. People can walk either two and a half miles or five miles, whatever mm -hmm. they choose, or they can volunteer and be at a registration table. They can walk, then at the end we have a finish line party, Subway, provides sandwiches for every single walker, which is wow. a huge amount. Coca-Cola provides beverages for every single walker, which is a huge amount. It's just a big party to celebrate people coming together and connecting in order to make a difference for people that are battling this really complicated, difficult disease. Sure. And doctor, um, if a patient has MS, it really affects the whole family. Explain that to us. Well, you know, it's a disease that goes on for many, many years. It's not something, unfortunately, people have and they get over. Mm -hmm. And um, as people get involved with treatment and physical challenges, usually the whole family is involved in support and, mm -hmm. and coming together around that person with MS. Sure. Um, well, let's put the information up on the screen so we know how to get involved in these walks. There's probably one by you, right? There's one everywhere. <laughs> so. um, Walk MS is happening Saturday and Sunday, April 5th and 6th. We know that our colleague Darren Kramer is going to be out there in Madison. That's happening on Saturday. On Saturday, exactly. Darren is our uh, Grand Marshal. He's been the Grand Marshal for nine years now. Oh. We've been working with, with News 8 for probably about 
about 15 years now that's in great. helping promote it, and that's why it's been such a tremendous success. And I'm excited that you'll be in West Haven this I'll, year. I'll be in Litchfield. Oh, we'll Litchfield, that's right. Over to Gil West, Haven. West Haven. Gil Simmons will be in West Haven. Those that's are right. both on Sunday, and I'm on really Sunday. looking forward to Thank it. It'll be my first one, so we'll... We'll raise a lot of money, get a lot yeah, of people out there. Yeah, we hope to get a lot of people out there to help make a difference. So. Very good. Well, thank you both for being here. Thank you for thank having you. us. All right, coming up next, CareCo helps caregivers by providing basic cooking classes. We'll fill you in after the break. <laughs>